We got some exciting news. Hello. So Airbot reached out to us to try out this new robot vacuum. Uh, we already have the Xiaomi Vacuum Mod 1C, so we're just gonna do a review and comparison between the two, since they are both of a rather similar price point. So let's unbox this first. Play Noah video again, guys. Ooh. We got the owner manual here. The robot itself. Mopping tank. Um, two side extra side brushes. And they already installed the side brushes for you. Which is good because... So this model is the A700 and includes the auto self-cleaning tank which is this one here so you can see that it has a dust bag that you need to refill yes so the power cable here three pin plug which is good for Singapore and extra dust bags so the unit itself comes with three dust bags one already pre-installed four side brushes two already pre-installed and two extras a mopping tank maybe it was the cleaning brush filter it's here you just need to push it down and pull it out and they included the cleaning brush inside the tank I guess you can call this a tank which is good because at least you won't lose it to remove the filter push it down and pull it up then that's all actually the whole robot itself feels pretty well built like everything clips into place very smoothly this are uh, the two robots side by side. This is the Xiaomi 1C, Vacuum Mop 1C, and this is Airbot. So if you look at them like that, it looks very similar in size. The difference really is this little knob here, which is the LDS sensor for Airbot. Xiaomi sensor is in the front here. The, the width between the two, if I'm not wrong, is only about 2cm difference, diameter wise. Other than that, it's very similar. Um, the Xiaomi has one side brush here, whereas the Airbot has two, so both, one on each side. As for the dust compartment, you have to lift up the cover, and then it's in here. And you just install it back. But one thing you have to be careful with this is that the dust hole is here, so if you, if you pull it out like this, the dust will actually come out. So as for airbot the dust compartment is actually here in a drawer then you press this little knob here to take out all these so there's actually a flap here to prevent the dust from coming out so a good design that i like from airbot is that the there's actually a dedicated slot for the cleaning brush that they slot it in here in the dust compartment and you just slot it back so you won't actually lose it the one for Xiaomi is actually in its uh, it's just a spare that you cannot uh, slot anywhere in the robot itself and as for the sensor they both have the bump sensor which is here but mapping wise I feel that this robot actually bumps into things more whereas this one it, it's lesser and more into just like edges and corners this one basically it maps by just pumping into everything it just goes forward until it bumps into something then it turns and the turning for this one is a lot smoother it does like u-shaped turns so it's very smooth whereas this one turns like right angle in terms of accessories the airbot comes with a mop tank and the pad two spare side brushes and two extra dust bags to refill in the auto cleaning dock which is a pretty good deal I would say because like one set of three airbags is about $16.90 one dust bag can easily last two to three months depending on your usage of the robot so it's a pretty good deal as for Xiaomi uh, it doesn't give you any spares it only, it only has the one side brush that you have to attach yourself. This is the mentioned side brush that is in its own com container that doesn't like it's outside of the robot. So if you lose it, 
it's gone. <laughs> Airbook also comes with these little extra uh, mop pad thingies, I don't know what you call them, but I kind of a lot misplaced them. And this is Xiaomi's water tank. So you can see that the piping mechanism is slightly different. You can see the tubes in here. This one doesn't have it. And also, um, this tank has a lot more capacity than airbots. So you can put it like side by side, you can see. It's pretty obvious. It's like this much. Also, the way to put on the mop pad is slightly different. For Xiaomi's, you actually thread it through this little thing here. So there's this hard piece here that you can thread it through. It even gives you like the red arrow to tell you where to start. So just slot it in and then velcro it down. Which makes uh, attaching the mop pad very easy. But for AirBot, the way you do it is different. So there's a little like velcro-ish pad here and along the edges. So what you do is, and then in the mop pad, there's this um, slot. So what you do is actually you attach the slot. As you slot the thing in. And then velcro the sides down. So in terms of design, I prefer Xiaomi's mod pad because it's a lot easier. To install the mod pad, all you need to do is just clip it in. So that's the sound. And for airborne, it's the same. To release, there's two side buttons here. You just press it and pull it out. Same for here. As for the dock, you can see that this is Xiaomi's, which is really very small because it doesn't include the self include the self auto clearing dock. Um, we catered this hole here specifically for like robot vacuums, but we didn't expect the <laughs> vacuums to not include a self emptying dock, so the airport one cannot fit in here. The airport. One is currently in our spare bedroom and this is a self-emptying dock. So do you lift up the dock and this is the airbag, I mean the dust bag. And all you need to do is just pull this tab and it's it seals it up for you as well. Then you can just actually if you want to see what's inside you can just push it down. Yeah. It's not very full right now. So this is how it goes in. It's pretty cool that it's using cardboard. So when the robot goes in, it will do a reverse and then enter. And then there'll be a super loud suction. That is honestly quite scary to hear the first time and then it's done. So you don't have to worry about the dust compartment which is something I like. Whereas for the Xiaomi, the tank isn't super big so you have to clear it after every um, after every run which is quite annoying because like the point of the robot is to help you right but then I always forget to clear it and uh, so with the airbot one it's significantly easier because it just like runs business and we are planning to do it like maybe uh in the middle of the night we can you can vacuum the outside living room everything while we are asleep. So not having to deal with the dust compartment is a major plus point in our case. Yeah. But the <laughs> minus point for us is that this thing is huge and it cannot fit inside our dedicated robot slot. Okay, so I scattered some couscous around. Um but I don't think you can really see it. Rice. Okay, 
So this is one round. You can see that most of the debris are gone, but there's still some at the corners. So all the couscous. Okay, so I would say mostly cleaned. But there's like a lot of stuff left in the corners, the rice. And it swept some over here. Right in there. And if I step in, you can actually feel like there's still some couscous around. But I think my area there's a lot of like small little corners. Mapping is done. So for Xiaomi's, uh, I think they're relatively similar in terms of like there's still rice and stuff left under the cabinets and like along the corners, especially all these crumbs here. But I think they are quite similar in terms of what's left. This is just a singular pass without the side sweep of the room. For the airport, it's actually also pretty okay, just maybe the corners here where the mop pad actually doesn't reach any turns already. You can see that it's a little bit dry. But it's pretty fast in mapping and mopping. The thing is I cannot find the mopping water level in the app, so I'm not really sure. But in, in the manual, it says here there's actually like three different mopping water levels. I cannot find it in the app though. And you can see that the water is actually pretty even. After reviewing the footage, uh, it's more obvious on camera that the airbots uh, area, mopping area, is actually a lot lesser than the Xiaomi one. So as you can see in the video that I'm playing again, like right next to each other, that the airbot, the corners are significantly drier so like you can see it's a much smaller rectangle in the kitchen that's wet whereas for the uh, Xiaomi one it's much bigger rectangle it's well well covered I would say I think it's mostly due to the fact that uh, the mopping pad size of the Xiaomi one is about half the robot airbot one is about one third so I think that's the difference there okay so this is basically the end of the review slash comparison while you guys watch uh how easy it is to connect the airbot to the app and also how it maps the house um here's some final thoughts on the two robots so both of them are actually pretty good for their price point the main pros and strengths of the airbot one is that it has the lds navigation system which is a lot better than uh the visual dynamic one which is causing the Xiaomi to bump into things more often and also the self-emptying dock for the airbot as for the Xiaomi strength is mainly in the mopping the mopping tank and the area that it covers as well so but for us uh, we actually don't really care much for the mop part of the robot so it's not a it's not a major plus point we most likely will probably go with the airbot because our 
smart home ecosystem is on Tuya, which is what the airbot system is using as well. And also because the mopping, as mentioned, is not a major point for us. We will also put down the links for both of them below so you can check them out. I believe 1010 is coming so they probably might run some promotions for both of them. So I hope this review helped you in selecting your robot vacuum and try to get them on sale I guess. <laughs>